Hello students. Welcome back to my channel, The Goddess of Economics. Today, I will continue to cover the topic of yield to maturity, teaching you how to roughly calculate it in your head, without using Excel or any other tool. Consider this, part 2 of the lecture titled It's the Yield to Maturity, Stupid. Okay, let's start with the following example. The bond's principal is $100, with coupon rate of 5%. Coupon is paid annually, and the bond's maturity is 3 years. Let's suppose, as of today, the bond's price is $100, that is, it is priced at par. We know that we can calculate the yield to maturity of this bond using the following formula. If we discount the bond's future cash flows including coupon and principal as in this equation, then we get R equals exactly 5%. In this case, as explained in my previous lecture, the yield to maturity comes out the same as the coupon rate, as the bond's price is at par. Now, what if the bond's price drops to $94? Well, even without a financial calculator or Excel program, there is a way to roughly estimate the yield to maturity in your head. Curious to know how that can be done? Well, it can indeed be done by undergoing the following thought process. First, we know that, when price is at $100, par, you will earn 5% per annum by investing in this bond. But then, if the price becomes $94 instead of $100, you gain extra $6, or 6% 6 return, as you can buy the bond at this cheaper price. In annual terms, the gain of 6% translates to about 2% per annum. Therefore, the new YTM of the bond should be roughly 7%, which is about 2% higher than before. Now, let's check if this is really the case. The true YTM we can find by trial and error comes out to be 7.3%. Of course, it is not exactly 7%, but close enough, isn't it? It should be good enough an answer, especially given that it came out of your head, which even you don't trust in everyday life. Am I right? Now, let's consider the case where the price of the bond becomes higher than before. For example, what if the price rises to $109 from par? The thought process you need to undergo should be the same as before. First, when price equals $100, you earn 5% per annum. Second, when the bond's price rises to $109, you lose $9 or 9%. In annual terms, this loss translates to about 3% per annum. Therefore, the new YTM should come out to be 3% lower than when it was priced at par. So, we can guess that now the YTM is about 2%. Let's find out if our guess is correct. Wow! This time as well, it was close enough. The true YTM is about 1.89%, which is indeed close to our approximation, which was 2%. By watching my video, you guys have truly mastered the way to calculate the YTM in your head. Isn't it amazing? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel grateful. Haha. <laughs> but I would like to emphasize that this is just a rough, imprecise estimation method. The margin of error gets larger as the bond gets more deeply discounted, that is, as it gets priced further away from par, or as the bond's maturity gets longer, etc. In fact, you can only estimate the YTM of the bond in a fairly reliable manner, if and only if you know the modified duration and convexity of the bond at a particular price level. So, be careful not to trust your head blindly in all circumstances. So, we have seen that, when the bond's price goes up, the YTM goes down. And when the bond's price goes down, the YTM goes up. This is because the YTM is the IRR you can expect, if you purchase the bond at that price. The more expensive the bond becomes, the less return you can expect to earn. But some people would say, oh, my bond price has gone up. So, the yield, thus the return, of my bond must have gone up as well. But this statement is false. Why? Because the yield to maturity is the IRR you can earn if you buy the bond at that price now and hold it until maturity. So, think of it, as the expected return you assess, right before you purchase the bond, not after. So, do you guys feel like you have learned something important today? The yield to maturity is the true measure of the return on an investment, as it reflects the impact of price changes. By contrast, the coupon rate of the bond is always a fixed number, regardless of the market price of the bond. Therefore, if you want to assess the true economics of the bond, you need to look at the yield to maturity, not the coupon rate. That is why I have titled this lecture series as It's the Yield to Maturity, Not the Coupon, Stupid. Again, do not forget to like and subscribe before you go. 
and please recommend my channel to your friends as well. May God bless you all.